In the next eight minutes, we will cover G codes to cut arcs, prepare the milling machine, and end a part program. Then you will know enough to write your own part programs. Moving on to more complex G codes, G02 and G03 allow us to cut arcs. G02 is used for clockwise arcs, and G03 creates counterclockwise arcs. Using these codes is a little bit more difficult because not only do you have to specify the endpoint of the arc, but you also have to specify the center point of the arc. Now let's go ahead and deconstruct a circular interpolation callout. As you know, the callout can either be a G02 callout or a G03. Remember, the only difference between these callouts is the direction of the arc. The first two parameters, X and Y, they signify the um, position of the endpoint of the arc, which would be P2 down here in our, our example. The next two parameters are I and J, and they signify the coordinates of the center of the, of the arc relative to the start of the arc. Now remember, I and J is always that uh, coordinates of the center relative to the start, even if you're in incremental coordinates. Right? So I and J stay the same whether you're in incremental or absolute coordinates. And finally, we have F, right, which is the feed rate of the end mill, which is essentially how fast we're moving the end mill when we're cutting. So if we go down here and look at this example, right, where P1 is located at 1, 1, right, the center of the arc is located at 3.5, comma 1, and the end point of the arc is located at 6, comma 1. So if we were going to write a G code for this, I'll just flip over to the next slide, right? the first thing we'd have to decide is, okay, are we in absolute or incremental coordinates? For the first example, I'll do it in absolute coordinates, so I'll call out a G90. Right? Then I'll determine the direction of the arc. Right? Since it's in the clockwise direction, I'll call out a G02. And then I'll call out the coordinates of the endpoint rel of the endpoint of the arc which is p2 so that would be x6 y1 and then to fill out i and j i need to know the coordinates of the center relative to the start point all right so i is just another way of saying x and the center is 2.5 units in the x away from point 1 and it's 0 or no change in y right, from point 1 to c. So i is 2.5 and j is equal to 0. And I'll, again, I'll use that f equals 40 for that feed rate. If I was going to go ahead and do this in incremental coordinates, right, only a few things have changed. Right, the arc is still clockwise, so it's g02, right, but now I've got to change x and y because I'm in incremental coordinates. So x and y are the, are the coordinates of the endpoint relative to the start. So here, right, P2 is 5 units over in the x from P1. Right, and P2 right, is no change in y from P1. So x is 5 and y is 0. I and J in this case don't change because remember they're always the incremental coordinates of C relative to point 1. So again, I is 2.5, excuse me, again C, the center point, is 2.5 um, uh, units over from, the, from point 1 and 0 units up or down right, uh, from point, uh, point 1. So I is 2.5 and j is equal to 0. And finally, right, whether it's incremental or absolute coordinates, we still have the same uh, feed rate.
You have now finished learning the important codes. You've learned how to position the end mill, how to move the end mill rapidly, how to move the end mill in a line for cutting, how to do circular cuts. Now, uh, before you're ready to, to write your own part programs, we have to learn about prep codes. Prep codes are a group of codes used to prepare the machine tool for executing the part program. Prep codes are unique to the brand of milling machine. For instance, the prep codes for the microkinetics machines are different from the prep codes required for the Haas machine tools. In front of you, what you see is a typical group of preparation codes. Right. The percent sign is often used for the start of the program and the end of the program. G70 tells the controller or the machine tool that you want to use English units. G90, as you already know, um, represents absolute coordinates. G17, again, tells the controller that you're going to do your circles or your arcs in the XY plane only. G94 indicates that the feed units you want to use, either inches or millimeters, are in a, a per minute basis. G75 is a non standard uh, code for the micro microkinetics machines only. This allows arcs larger than 90 degrees. M13 uh, indicates that you want to rotate the spindle in the clockwise direction and M3 turns on the spindle. For the prep code specific to the machine tool you'll be using, please reference your laboratory manual. Thank you. To end a part program properly, Please pull the end mill above the part, stop the spindle, and then tell the controller that the part program is finished. The three codes below will do that. G00, Z2.0 will lift the end mill above the part. M15 stops the spindle from rotating, and the percent sign indicates to the controller that the part program is over. Warning! You now know enough to damage some very expensive milling machines. Please be sure to simulate your codes and do a dry run before machining your parts. Thank you and good luck with the assignment.